Hey everyone, today I have a quick tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to remove audio from video using VLC Media Player. It's a free piece of software that's quite easy to use and it'll easily help you remove your audio from your MP4s. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we bring you videos on reviews and how-tos. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to my computer and show you how to remove audio from video in VLC. All right, so here we are on my computer. If you don't have VLC Media Player already, you can download it for free at videoland.org. I will put a link below in the description so you can easily find it. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Now jumping over to my desktop here, I do have a video file here on my desktop. It's an MP4 from our cruise to Alaska, and it's got quite a bit of background noise, wind, some kids laughing. Let me play a bit of this for you. It's 36 seconds long. You can probably hear all the noise in the background there. So this is the file, again, that we're gonna be removing the audio from. So I'm gonna close that down, and we'll go ahead and load up VLC Media Player. So once you've got it installed, you might have to look for it in your programs. I happen to have a desktop icon here, so let's go ahead and load that up. So our first step to remove the audio here in VLC Media Player is to find the Convert and Save option. So to find that, in the top left-hand corner, you're gonna see it says Media. Go ahead and left-click on Media with your mouse, and come down here, you'll see an option that says Convert slash Save. You can left-click on that, or if you're on a Windows computer, you can hit Control and R. I'm gonna left-click on that. That's gonna open up a new window that looks something like this, where it says Open Media. Now we need to bring our video file into this file selection area right here. So right here, you're gonna see an option that says add. If we left click on add, a file navigator is gonna pop up where we can search our computer for the video file that we wanna remove the audio from. So if it's on your desktop, you can click on desktop. If it's in your documents or your videos, you can click on that. Mine happens to be on my desktop and it's this one right here, this Go profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click on that and we're gonna hit the open button down here towards the bottom, and that's gonna bring it right into the file selection area. Now, once you've got it in the file selection area, you can go ahead and click convert slash save at the bottom. So we have a couple quick setting changes we do need to make here. The first is for the profile. I'm using an MP4 file, and I'd like it to export as an MP4 file. So in this drop-down box here, I'm gonna select the video H.264 plus MP3 and MP4 in brackets. That's the first one there. If you're using a different file type or you're looking for a different file type, there are a whole bunch of different options there and I'll let you play around with those on your own. So I'm gonna select this first one. Our next step, and this is the important one for removing audio, we need to go ahead and click on this little wrench that's right next to it. So go ahead and left click on the wrench. It says edit selected profile. That's gonna open up a new menu that looks something like this. And we're looking to select the audio codec tab at the top. So left click on audio codec. And this is where you would unselect the audio. So you'll see audio is selected right here in the checkbox. We're just gonna turn that off. So go ahead and click on that and then hit save down here at the bottom. And that's gonna save the video without any audio when we export it. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna take us back out here. Now our final step before we kind of export our file is to select the destination. So that's right down here at the bottom. We can go ahead and click on browse right here. Just go ahead and left click on browse. And I'm gonna go ahead and save mine on my desktop. And it's got the file name here. You can change it to whatever you like. I'm gonna maybe change mine to cruise no sound. And once you've got your name of the file in there, you can go ahead and hit save here at the bottom. Maybe I'll move that over. You might be able to see it better. Save. And it's got all that information. Now we can just go ahead and hit start right down in here. So let's go ahead and hit start. And it's gonna start doing the um, exporting for you. So this will take a few seconds here and I'll come back to you in just a moment. All right, it all finished up there. The blue line went across the bottom. It took about 30 seconds or so. Let's go out to my desktop and have a quick look at that video file. There it is, it showed up, cruise, no sound. Let's go ahead and play it. And it looks like it exported perfectly. It's playing perfectly with no audio in the background. And it's really that easy to remove audio from your video in VLC. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you remove audio from video using VLC Media Player. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.